Hey everyone, this video today is going to show you how to create templates in Notetaker HD 6.0. Now, you may recall I made a video showing you exactly how to do this last week in 5.0, and a few days later they came out with an update, 6.0, and it's a little bit different. It's a little bit of a different process to create the templates, but it's easier. So let if, let me just show you how to do this. Okay, what you're looking at here, this is just a slideshow of screenshots of my iPad. And I'm going to open up the storage folder where I keep my cloud storage apps. Now, even though I use several different storage cloud storage apps, my favorite is SugarSync. And the reason that SugarSync is my favorite is because, first of all, for free, you can start off with 5 gigs of cloud space. And in addition to that, you can earn by, by installing it on your devices and recruiting other people and sharing files, you can earn more more storage and I'd like to mention that there is a link here in below this video and there's also a link on my blog if you think that you want to try sugar sink use the link that I've provided because in addition to the five gigs of free storage that sugar sink will give you when you sign up you'll also get an extra 500 and so will I so if you think you're going to try it, use the link that I've provided. That way we both benefit. Okay, so I'm going to open up SugarSync, and this is what it looks like on the iPad. And you see here I've got SugarSync installed on three laptops. I only use these two laptops. I don't even turn this one on, but I installed it on this laptop just in case. You never know. I might turn it on once or twice before I retire it. Uh, also, one of the neat things about SugarSync is this folder that it creates in your document called the Magic Briefcase. Any files or folders that you put into the Magic Briefcase, no matter what device you're on, it will automatically put it in the Magic Briefcase on all these other devices that you have SugarSync installed on. Now inside my magic briefcase, I've created all these folders and I want to navigate to the folder that has the work order sheets that we're going to bring into Notetaker and we're going to make create templates out of them inside Notetaker so that we can reuse them over and over again. Okay, so they're in my iPad folder. And here's the work orders folder, and here are all the work orders that I have in that folder. There's 11 of them. Now, I purchased these work orders several years ago. Actually, I purchased a CD that had these work orders on them. And on that CD, there were also instructions on how to personalize the work order to, with the information for your, for your business. And up until December of last year, when I purchased my iPad, I would print out these work orders and fill them out and put them in a manila folder along with any other notes or information or fabric swatches or diagrams or drawings that would be pertaining to that job or that client. And any, any of you that know me, that have been in my office, you know I've got this huge filing cabinet in my office that you can't even cram another folder in, in between the folders. There's so many in there. Well, since I purchased my iPad back in December, I have converted my business to be completely paperless. 
Now what I'm basically doing is carrying around that big filing cabinet that's in my office. And I'm talking, it's three drawers full. It's like a five foot wide filing cabinet. I'm carrying that filing cabinet around with me in my purse, on my iPad, and on my iPhone. And it's just with a few simple free apps that I use to accomplish this. And that would be Evernote. Note Taker HD and my cloud storage, which my favorite up and coming favorite one is SugarSync. So basically, just using those three apps, and all three are free. Well, the Note Taker is not free, I think it's four or five dollars to purchase for your iPad. But all the templates that I put into Note Taker, everything that I use inside Note Taker, that's all free because I already had the work order CD that I purchased years ago. And what I did when I got my iPad is I took on the CD, those work orders are created in Microsoft Word. And that's so that you can edit them and personalize them to your business. But once I did that, I converted those Word documents into PDF files because I like bringing PDFs into Note Taker HD. They're, they're crisp and clear and, and, they, and they look good and they're, they're fast to open. And, and in Note Taker, you can take notes on PDF files. So I no longer print them out. And if you can use these work orders in your business, they can be obtained. They were created by Terry Boozer, and you can contact her directly to obtain these, these work order sheets. And I believe she's going to have them available for download, but you can contact her directly at tboozer at verizon.net. And that's T B O O S E R at verizon.net. And at the end of this video, I'll have a little note up in case you want to write it down. And I also have her contact information posted in the description of this video as well as posted on my blog. So moving right along, let's open up one of these PDF files in Note Taker. I'm going to choose the Throw Pillows, the Pillow Sham work order. Okay, so that's open now in SugarSync, and what I'm going to do from SugarSync is click this arrow up here in the upper right hand corner and choose to open in Note Taker. And the reason that Note Taker is up here at the top is because that's where I open up most of my files. So my iPad automatically gives me that option. If I were to click open in, it would give me a pull down menu where I could scroll through other apps that I have installed on my iPad that I can open up these work orders in. Okay, as soon as you click Note Taker HD, it opens up Note Taker. And this is how easy it is to create a template in Note Taker. Once, once it's opened, you click on this folder right here. And this is a folder that comes with 6.0. As you can see, it's different than the other folders that I've created in Note Taker. And yes, you can create folders now in Note Taker 6.0. And I'm tickled about that because I been I've been waiting for this and and I feel like now I'm so organized. I can keep things in my folders now and I can continue to create new folders. I keep my jobs separated from one another. Before this update I was using tags and I still felt like things were messy and they still even though I would I could navigate to the tag and open up all the notes inside that tag like if it were a notebook I still didn't feel that things were nice and neat like like they are now. So like I said this template folder is different than any of these other folders that I've created this folder right here, anything you put in it becomes a template. So once you click that arrow in SugarSync to open up your document, this is the window that opens up. And what you're going to do is highlight the template folder. 
and then click done and then click create doc and it will open up the document at this point you can do any editing that you would like to do anything you do at this point because this this worksheet is inside your template folder any editing that you do at this point any marks that you make any settings that you set up this and then, and then you click done that will save it that is how it will open up each time you go to use this template so I'm going to click up here edit editing and I'm going to just erase that that PDF and click done and then let's see oh and then I'm going to click the zoom edit and I'm going to change the color ink that I want it to open in and then I'm going to change the location of where I'm going to begin writing as soon as I open up this template each time over and over again this is how it will open up okay I click done and that saves it and that saved it exactly the way I left it with all the changes that I made to it now I'm going to go to one of my client folders and I've already got some notes that I've put into my clients folder and I want to create a pillow order work order so I'll, I'll click this template and scroll down to the throw pillows pillow shams work order click on that and it opens it up inside my clients folder exactly the way I saved it in the templates folder so here I'll fill in the clients name and the date and any special instructions I'm also going to go up here to the mode button and scroll down to images and what I want to do is import an image to put over top of this work order what I did was I, cho I, I chose to open my photo albums and I navigated to a photo album where I keep these images of pillows and I got these images off of a CD that came with a book that I purchased written by Jackie Von Tobel and the name of the book was the designers mm, wait let me see if I can find that real quick find that name Oh, dead air. What could I talk about while I'm trying to find the name of that book? Because I just know that you're going to want to get that book when you see what I can do with these images that come off of the CD. Okay, the name of the book is The Design Directory of Bedding. And again, that's that was written by Jackie Von Tobel. Okay, so these are all the images of pillows that came on that CD and I just created a photo album and put it put them on my my iPad so I can scroll through these pillows and choose one of them to put on my work order and let's see then I can go back to inking choose my ink pen and then I can zoom in to edit I can also choose to change the color of my ink and here I've inked one of the squares in green choose another color inked another square and then went back to the previous color and you get the idea something else you can do in note taker if you click on the mode button again there is also an option in there and I didn't grab a screen, screenshot of it but it's symbols and when you choose symbols over on the right side of your screen you will see a myriad of symbols and you can just scroll through them and there are so many there's all different shapes and arrows as you can see and um, uh, voice boxes there's time stamps day planner uh, schedules um, let me think what else there's so many things and oh frames and 
bullets, um, just so much. And, and I actually enjoyed scrolling through and, and testing a bunch of them out. There's also some um, contractor elements like walls and windows and stairs and uh, doors. So, you know, if you were creating a floor plan inside Note Taker, you could use those symbols that are provided with with the application. They come with Note Taker. Okay, so I'm going to choose this dimension line and put it over my pillow and and decide what write down what size I want that pillow, 18 by 18. And then I'm going to go back to my image folders and I created sticky notes in Photoshop and I've converted all those sticky notes to PDF files so that I created those in Note Taker HD as templates as well and so I can open those sticky notes up by themselves as a template in Note Taker but I also saved the images the JPEG images inside my iPad albums folder so that I can also grab one of these sticky notes to put on top of any uh, templates that I'm that I'm working on just like I brought this pillow image in I'm going to bring a sticky note over to my work order sheet and you can click this arrow right here to make your sticky note smaller or bigger you can make it as big or as small as you want and then this arrow right here, or box, will let you drag it around to the location that you want it on your, your work order. Okay, so I've added some notes to my sticky note, and I've also added some numbers and filled in some more blanks on my work order. And now I'm done noting it up. And when you click Done, it saves it to your client's folder. Now I want to take you back to the templates folder and show you that that work order that we created a template and just used it and noted it up is in the template folder safe and completely unmarked and it stays that way inside the template folder. The template folder is a, like a holding tank for all any, any documents that you want to use over and over again as templates. You never want to open the templates from within this folder and edit and mark on them because if you do, like I said earlier, when you save them, they when you click done, they're saved and, and what the way you saved them is how they're going to open up each time you go to use them over and over again. Some of the other templates that I've created in Photoshop is some stationary just lined lined papers that I've put fabrics in the background some of them are nice for, for journaling or my church notes these are the sticky notes I was telling you that I created that you can also open up by themselves in note taker because I've made templates out of those as well I also every month make day planner pages and on these day planner pages I open a new one every day. This is this was the one that I created for May. And when I open them up, I write up here. You can type or you can hand ink the day and the date right here. And as throughout the day, any notes, any ideas that come to mind, I'll fill out fill up this side of my day planner. Anything that pops up that I need to do at any given time or anybody that's going to drop by or just just whatever if there's a specific time or if I'm trying to map out my day as far as what I need to accomplish and how long it's going to take I'll kind of fill it out in here any tasks that I want to accomplish for the day I'll put in here and any contacts that I make throughout the day I'll put in here now this does not take place of my main task list or my contacts or my calendar that I have that I use with my Gmail that sits in the cloud and syncs with all my devices 
this is basically just a catch-all for me from my thirst, first thought in the morning to my last thought at the end of the day. And then from the notes that I make throughout the day to this, they get delegated to my main source where I keep my calendar, my tasks, my contacts. Um, basically, this replaces you having to grab sticky notes from your desk or writing on napkins or writing on the back of somebody else's work order. If somebody calls and I have to write down a quick phone number, how many times has this happened to you? Which And, and you write a number on the back of somebody else's work order and once that gets filed away, you can't remember where that you know you wrote that number down, but where? At the end of the day, after I'm all done with this worksheet and I put everything away where it belongs or filed it away or added it to my contacts or calendar or task list. I email this page for the day to my Evernote and in Evernote I have a notebook created specifically for day planner pages and then a sub actually it's it's a tag it's not a, a notebook but I have a sub tag that says May and all these sheets in order are in there. So that if I ever need to go back to a specific day and uh, just for whatever reason, if I need to go back to that date, they're all dated in Evernote and I can access my day planner pages from any one of any of my devices, from my iPhone, from somebody else's computer in another town. So, and that stays there for good and forever. Like I said, I'm, not only am I carrying around my filing cabinet, but I'm carrying around years of my day planner pages. I remember when I used to use the day planner pages, the hybrid notebook with the pages. Every year you would file them away in a box and start a new year. Well, I'm sort of still doing that. But it's all digital and it's all always with me no matter how many years you file away you always have it all with you and you can access it and it's safe too if somebody were to lose or, or if they stole your laptop or ipad or your house burned down <laughs> hope that never happens you can still go to another device or purchase another device and all your information is there and safe. I keep my client folders, all of them, no longer in the filing cabinet, but in Evernote. And I hope I'm not saying these, getting these confused because I say Evernote when I mean note taker and note taker when I mean Evernote. But they're all filed away after I'm done with them in note taker, they're all filed away in Evernote and if I need to look back on a job or if a client calls me and has a question or like I was saying earlier, if something were to happen to my device, I'm not out of business. I still have all my documents safe and sound and in the cloud. So let me scroll through. There's June's day planner page and I just posted August and September on my blog so be sure and visit make a trip over to my blog so that you can download some of this free stuff that I put on there available for you you to use in note taker I've also created a recipe template so that I can jot down recipes real quick sometimes when you're sitting in the doctor's office and flipping through a magazine you see a delicious recipe and you can't tear the page out of the magazine, I hope you don't do that, you can jot it down real quick in note taker and I've created these templates for that. And this template was made using a, a digital scrapbooking kit that I purchased from the scrap girls, scrap, scrapgirls.com and the name of the kit is called, let me go look for that information now called uh, Bone App Appetite Collection Biggie and it was created by Brandy Murray 
So, and, and all these elements that you see here along with several, many others come in that kit. And each one of these elements in here, the label, the, the napkin, the coffee urn, the words, the letters, the clips, they all are separate and, and you can design your, you can make your own templates for Note Taker HD by using digital scrapbooking supplies. Now when you purchase digital scrapbooking supplies, you can print them out on your printer and do the, the hybrid way of scrapbooking if you like, but I don't do anything with paper anymore. I'm completely paperless. I'm all digital. With everything that I do, I look for ways to keep it digital. Okay, so let me show you how to create a folder in Note Taker. So we go to our folders page and click this plus here at the top and then that opens up this window where you're going to say yes, create a folder. And that opens up this window where you name your folder. You click done. And there's your folder created. I'm going to click done again. And see, there's the folder. So let's open up that folder. And then I want to navigate to that recipe template that I was just showing you. So I click the plus and I scroll down through, through my many, many templates that I've created. And I'm going to click recipe template. And there it is, opened up inside the recipe folder that I just created. Let's see, I'm going to click to ink. And I'm going to begin filling in the recipe ingredients and instructions. Yummies and delicious. Yummies and delicious. And something else that I want to show you, when you get to the end here when you're when you're inking this line this is a margin line right here and of course when you open up your your note it's all the way over here on the left and you can drag it over here and the reason that you would want to do that is so that every time you hit click return it'll only return to here rather than returning all the way to the left see well that about wraps it up. And the, on this page I have just put the information again to contact Terry Boozier in case you want to purchase the work order sheets from her and personalize them to your business and use them in Note Taker HD as templates now that I showed you how to create templates. Also if you want to download any of the freebies that I have available on my blog, this is the address to my blog. It's digitally speaking designs at blogspot.com. There's a lot in Note Taker that I probably haven't even put a dent in how many different things are in Note Taker HD, especially now the new 6.0 version. And I'll continue to make videos using Note Taker because I love it and I use it every day. I'm thorough in it. And but this video needs to end somewhere. It's getting kind of long. So until the next video, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please post. Until the next video, bye-bye.